Are you tired of failing at defeating the Mortem Rex? No matter how hard you try, you still lose. Are you sick of high levels mocking you and calling you a noob? Have you given up? Hey guys, Mel Casey here, and today I'm gonna be making you a tutorial. You probably have seen people defeat the Mortem Rex with level 30 dinos, and it seems impossible to do without high level dinos. Well, I'm gonna tell you that it's not impossible, and I'm gonna teach you the secret of how to beat the Mortem Rex like a pro with low level dinos. First, I will briefly explain the criteria and then show you a Mortem Rex battle that I will walk through with you. These are the stats for round 1 and 2 of the Mortem Rex, which are similar but slightly different. There are 3 attacks each round that are used in sequential order and continues in a pattern. The first attack deals base damage and is a multi-attack, which will hit all opponents at once. The second attack deals double base damage, which attacks the dino that's taunting. The third attack will attack a random dino regardless of the dino taunting. This does base damage in round 1, but does 1.5 damage in round 2. The minions will always remain the same stats for both rounds. The minions do a lot of damage, so your main goal is to take them out as soon as the round starts. Because the minion with the highest health is just below 5000, you need to do an attack with at least 5000 damage to all opponents at once to instantly kill the minions before they attack you. So, there are two major dinos that your team must use the Tura Moloch and the Ardentes Maxima. You will then need a dino that uses distraction and healing. And lastly, you will need a dino with an ability that has team damage up. There are two reasons why you will need to use a plus 50% damage up dino. Because healing is based on attack damage, it adds plus 50% healing. Second, it will help increase damage by 50% to help take out the minions. That means that the dino with damage up must have the highest speed among all other teammates. There is an array of dinos that you can use for team damage plus 50%, but you need to make sure that the ability lasts for at least 2 attacks and has a cooldown of 2 or less. You can use for example the Baryonyx Gen 2, which is a rare dino. You could use the Irritator, which is another rare dino. Or you could use the Triostrinix, which is a legendary dino. And I strongly recommend that you use the Triostrinix because like I said, it is a legendary dino and there will most likely be someone in your alliance with that dino at a decent level. The Irritator in Baryonyx Gen 2 DNA is really important in getting powerful unique dinos, but it can be an option if anyone has one at a decent level. The dino with plus 50% damage up should take advantage of this damage up by using high damage attacks while it is in effect. This dino will be putting out one of the most damage on the team. His goal is to provide teammates with support while also helping to take down the Mortem Rex as quick as possible to limit the Mortem's chance on attacking the team. This dino will use his damage up ability as much as possible, but must always use it the first turn in battle and be sure to have it in effect on the first turn of round 2 for the Ardentes Maxima. The Ardentes Maxima is the most important dino in that the stats are very keen and will determine your success in winning. This dino will take out the minions, taunt, and tank the boss's damage. This dino is going to need at least 6,700 health. The strongest boss attack is just below 6,700 damage. The Arden will also need at least 1,670 base damage. The skill used to hit all opponents is double base damage, which means it should at least be 3,340 damage. With damage boost, this will equal to 5,010 damage, which will be enough to take out both minions in one hit. 1,670 base damage is a lot, so that dino will require a lot of boosts 
and should be the highest level amongst all other lower level dinos. So, the Arden should always use the multi-attack on the first turn in battle and on the first turn of round 2. Make sure the Arden is constantly taunting by focusing on using shattering and basic attack during battle. This dino will need to help put in damage and also tank the incoming damage. The Tura Moloch is the only dino that has the ability Team Speed plus 50%. This ability is important because it will allow all team members to make their moves before the boss or minions. Also, the Turo will heal the entire team and emergency heal the Arden whenever the Arden taunts and suffers a massive attack from the Mortem. As the Turo Moloch, make sure everyone continues to have speed plus 50% throughout battle. This ability lasts for 3 turns and has a cooldown of 1. When deciding to heal, pay attention to the other healer and use your best judgment, but always do the first emergency heal. Team heal should be used when all teammates are lower in damage. Emergency heal should be used on the Ardentee's Maxima when he takes a lot of damage or is very low in health. Remember, healing has a cooldown of 2, so it's important to use your best judgment and not waste it. The fourth dino on the team must have a distraction ability and a healing ability. This must be implemented at the proper times. Keep in mind the Mortem has a 50% immunity against distraction effects. So with the 50% distraction effect, his damage will reduce by 25%. The distraction and healing dino must always use a distraction ability at the start of battle. Throughout battle, pay attention to when the Mortem uses a cleansing ability. Both healers should communicate healing before and during battle to limit confusion or mistakes. The Tenanto Rex has a distraction ability that reduces damage by 50%, which lasts 2 turns and has a cooldown of 2. This dino also heals the entire team and can do massive damage. As the Tenanto Rex, focus on putting out damage using distraction and occasionally healing. However, be sure to use heal on your second turn. Most likely, you will heal a lot more health than the Tura, so it's important that you use heal before you no longer have damage up. The Dilo Rakaris has two distraction abilities with a 50% damage reduction and a 100% critical chance reduction. This will reduce the Mortem's critical chance from 40% to 0%, which will allow you a better chance to survive attacks. The Dilo Rakaris also has a team healing ability and emergency healing ability. As the Dilo Rakaris, focus on using your distraction ability and healing ability. Work out how you and the Terra Moloch decide to heal. Distraction only lasts for one turn, so it is recommended that you attack with distraction instead of healing if the Terra Moloch can heal. The Dilo Rakaris will not put in as much damage as the Tenanto Rex, but it will make up for it by providing extra healing. Either one of these two dinos will work. I have successfully defeated the Mortem Rex with each one of these dinos. All these dinos except the Arden must have at least 3,350 health to survive the Mortem's multi-attack. However, it is recommended to have a minimum health of 3,760 to last longer in round 2, and a minimum of 4,180 health to survive from critical attacks. It is not necessary and 3,350 health is enough, but it may require more attempts to beat the Mortem Rex. There is no damage requirement, but it is recommended that the team healing dinos have as high damage as possible to maximize healing, which is important for survival. Keep in mind that to succeed, all teammates must remain alive when round 2 starts. Not every dino will survive to the end and it is actually good if your Ardentis Maxima is the first dino to get defeated in round 2. That means you are implementing everything correctly. I have put together a simple guide for each dino. Remember, the ability you choose to use depends on the situation. It is your job to make the best judgment and follow the advice and tips I have given. You can screenshot or take a picture of these guides to help you in battle. It is important that you understand the purpose of this tutorial. 
Not every friend or alliance member will have these dinos with the minimum requirements. This tutorial is to help lower level players have the opportunity to beat the Mortem Rex without level 30 dinos. If you and other members have a specific dino close to the requirements, it is your own job to boost and level up your own dino. Most likely, you will not beat the Mortem Rex on the first go, but that's okay. Don't let that discourage you. Keep trying, learn from your mistakes, and adjust your tactics if needed. If you follow this criteria, it is possible and you will eventually win after a few attempts. I hope you found this video helpful. Leave a like if you did. If you are looking to beat the Mortem, be sure to share this video with your alliance and coordinate the dinos you each have and plan to use. Leave a comment down below letting me know if this worked for you. Remember, raids are a team effort.